there are two kinds of ritual impurities the minor impurity and the major impurity which occurs as a result of janaba haid or nifas to achieve tahara from the minor impurity you only need to renew your wudu ablution whereas in the case of major impurity you need to take a ghusl and let's begin to perform wudu it is important that you perform the following steps of wudu in order step 1 begin in the name of allah by saying bismillah step 2 completely wash the hands including the wrists and between the fingers three times step 3 put water into your mouth using the right hand swirl it around in your mouth then expel do this three times step 4 sniff water into the nostrils as far as possible with the right hand and then blow it out using the left hand do this three times step 5 washing the face from the forehead to the chin and from the left earlobe to the right earlobe making sure the whole face is washed do this three times the one who has a beard should also run the wet fingers through it step 6 wash the right arm beginning at the fingertips washing the entire hand and arm up to and including the elbow do this three times the same is done for the left arm beginning at the fingertips washing the entire hand and arm up to and including the elbow do this three times step 7 starting at the fringe moving the hands to the back of the hairline and then back to the fringe all in one movement this is done once only step 8 wipe the insides of both ears with the index fingers and the back of the ears with the thumbs this is done only once step 9 wash the right foot including the ankle Make sure between the toes are also washed using the small pinky finger. Do this 3 times. The same is done for the left foot, washing it up to and including the ankle, ensuring you wash between the toes using the small pinky finger. Do this 3 times. Step 10. It is preferred to seal your wudu with a declaration of faith, saying اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله this means i bear witness that there is no god worthy of worship except allah and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger you may also add to this saying allahumma ij'alni min at-tawwabin وَجَعَلْنِي مِنَ الْمُتَطَهِّرِينَ Which means, O oh Allah, make me among those who turn in repentance to you and make me among those who purify themselves. Upon the completion of the steps of wudu, one is now ready to pray as long as they don't nullify the wudu. Actions that nullify wudu. This includes... passing urine or feces passing wind other things that nullify will do include deep sleep whereby one loses awareness unconsciousness or intoxication touching the private parts with the hand and fingers without a barrier intimate relations between husband and wife if a person forgets whether they have nullified their wudu or not then this does not nullify their ablution regardless of whether the person is praying or not until they are certain that they have nullified their ablution don't forget that you must perform the steps of wudu in order